Hey guys, Kanye Miss Monster here. I'm coming at you with a commentary on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, I'm going to talk to you about lag and, well, internet connection in general, really. Now, we're living in, say, the 21st century. Yep, and we're about 12 years into it now. And um, yep, we still haven't solved the issue of lag. Now, if you don't get me wrong, we have actually got. But the highest which I've ever seen or even heard about is the uh, um, 100 megabytes. Now I think 100 megabytes, I don't have that, I have 10. But I think 100 megabytes should actually stop lag. But I've still heard lag is still recorded on like 50 megabyte connections. Now, why is that? To be honest, I don't know how lag occurs. Uh, it could be ping. Now, to be honest, I don't know what ping is. Some people say it's like... Um, Ping is something to do to with lag, you know, to compensate for the lag. So if you lag, it'll probably like lag other people out. I don't know really. I don't even know if a high ping or a low ping is good or not. But yeah, I do not understand lag. I mean, I understand how it, how it works, but it's like you know, for lag for gaming in general, it's just like say you shoot, but you. Bullets don't register for like a second. Now that's actually pretty annoying because it happens in like the worst places possible. Because it can happen at any time and anywhere really. Say if you're shooting someone who's across the map who's shooting at you. You may not hit him, but he will hit you in the most unpredictable place ever. So, I mean, I was playing a game just today. I was thinking it was on hard hat. <coughs> there was a sniper on the other end of like this hall and I just like I just came round the corner I lagged for a bit and then just died so hmm, I think I should watch the kill cam on this so I, wa I watched the kill cam as I said I did he didn't even aim at me and he still got a kill he didn't even shoot and he got a kill now I don't understand why that happens is lag also because of the servers of the game is it because your internet's crap to the host? Is it the host connection? So I've got a friend who, when he's hosting the game, even he lags. I, I don't know how are you. Oh, I was a fail there for the flash. Anyway, how do you lag in your own game? I mean, it's 21st century, it's like 2012. I'm pretty sure that we should have actually found out a way to stop lag. Now, my friend there, he actually, um, port forwards. This is connection is that bad. Now, also, I don't know what port forwarding is, to be honest. I don't know if it's, say, well, what, what, what do you call it again? I don't know if it's like where it just like improves your connection just for that specific like IP address or port. Because I know that he, he like, there's this um, program which actually does its, his ports for him. Say he puts in like ports for Modern Warfare 3, it'll, it'll automatically do like these hundreds and hundreds of ports, which will narrow it down to the perfect connection just for him for Modern Warfare 3. Which it isn't that perfect because he lags in his own games, in which he also lags in um, online games, which he still gets some pretty good scores on it, really. He gets like, uh, oh, what does he get? He gets like 30 for 10. Now, I, I don't understand how he lags, but he gets 30 for 10, which is actually quite impressive, to be honest. I wish I could get 30 for 10 on lag, but I cannot get 30 for 10 on lag at all. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, on to internet connections. I'm only on a 10 megabyte. A 10 megabyte isn't really that much. It's like the lowest you can get. Well, I know a friend who has actually got a 2 megabyte connection. But I think he lives somewhere in the countryside. In a place which has just a really generally crap, um, you know, a generally crap connection. But yeah, he's got 2 megabyte. He, he was, he was meant to be subscribed to 10 megabyte. But I think his, um, connector company, internet company actually did a test. And found out that he could only get two megabytes, so he, he so he's only paying for two megabytes, which is actually I would say it's quite cheap. 
Oh, that was some good double kills there. Got a double kill javelin, double kill um, UMP, and then a double kill finger mob, um, self bomber, and I get killed. And then, he, then uh, one of them. <laughs> yeah, internet connection. Uh, the biggest I've heard is 100 megabytes, and like, you know, the Asian con con countries like Japan, for etc. For, well, not for etc., for example. Now, that must be one of the best connections in the world, really. Because you could say, like, have 10 to 5 to 10 people on it, and you'll get no interference with your connection at all whatsoever, which will just be bliss. Because say when you're playing with um, even two people on the same connection, for me, I cannot play the game at all. Even with just my laptop on, I cannot play the game at all. That shows how crap sometimes connections can be. Now, if I could, or if I was, if I was, if I was old enough, I would actually love to actually go to go for a 50 megabyte connection. But that, I don't know how the internet costs so much these days. Is, it, is there like a is internet rare or something? It's just retarded to be honest. And I, personally, I don't understand how internet works. All I know is that it just transfers little particles from a receiver or a modem over to your computer or laptop or your PS3 and does some encrypting shit. <laughs> Which oh, would be nice if I knew that I could actually fix my internet connection, but anyway. I mean like, does internet connection and, and lag have a relationship, a correlation? I would say it does. Because the lower your internet connection, the more of a chance you're going to get lag. I mean, I was also playing some Battlefield 3 not too long ago, but and lag varies for different places. Like Call of Duty, it's either bullet lag or movement lag. But for um, Battlefield 3, it's just movement lag. Because what I've seen for Battlefield 3 is you move forward and you're lagging, it just gradually pushes you back. Or you run very slowly, and then when you stop, you start slowly moving back. Which is actually pretty annoying. Unlike Call of Duty, where it's like, "My God, I shot him in the head!" No hit, what? No hit marker, what? What? And then you get killed over a person not even looking at you. But yep, yeah, that's been my randoms on internet connection lag. I hope you like this episode, and I will see you later. Goodbye.